When do you think the IPO market is going to start showing some signs of life? Oh, my goodness. I do wish I had a crystal ball for that. You know, obviously, it's been widely reported this week that Q1 of this year was the worst quarter for IPO since Q1 of 2009 in uh, the tech category in the U.S. It's been abysmal, not a single IPO. And, you know, I'd be surprised to see a sudden reversal of that trend in Q2. I'm hopeful for later in the year. I suspect if we see a couple of really good debuts, companies that are growing, that are profitable, that are strong, uh, collective appetite might be whetted a little bit in public markets. In the meantime, you know, we're counseling our CEOs in a couple of ways. One, you know, we're telling them there are certain things that you can control and certain things you can't control and to be aware uh, of the difference. Does it have to be a, a, a so-called name brand to sort of break the ice and, and, and maybe dethaw the IPO market? Or does it just have to be a, a company that has a good, solid debut to instill some confidence on the marketplace? I think a company with really strong fundamentals will help. Uh, if there's a great brand, uh, that takes it even further. You know, I think broadly, at companies that are thinking about going public right now, as they're considering the window, there's a couple things to consider. One, you know, largely, if uh, if you're looking to, to make a big splash in the IPO market, you really have to focus now not on the window, not on you know, the interest rates, not on what's happening over in China or with oil prices, but really, how do you invest for growth in your company? How do you focus on your fundamentals? How do you achieve a path to profitability such that when the markets do open again, you can, with real intention, pursue the right path for you. And if you are a name brand, and potentially make that splash. As we sort of look ahead to try and think about the next big things in the area of technology and hardware, where should we be looking today? Well, you know, one of the reasons I'm so excited that CNBC and Inc. Magazine decided to host Iconic here in Seattle is Seattle has uh, an important leadership position in a category that I think is going to be really important in technology, which is virtual reality and augmented reality. If you think about uh, the revolutions in personal computing and hardware, uh, you can find that once a decade there is a major revolution. So about 10 years ago, it was mobile and smartphones. 10 years before that, it was portable computing, the notebook computer, and of course in the 80s it was the PC. Uh, my opinion is we're looking at the next major revolution in technology, virtual reality and augmented reality. It's poised to shape not only the way we live, work, and play and, and seek entertainment, but also has profound implications for other categories and sectors like uh, communication, uh, technology, and education, and, and healthcare.